If the ISS had an emergency, how long would it take to get a rocket to it? If there was an urgent need to launch a rocket to the ISS, how long would it take to have a rocket ready to launch? I am trying to understand what factors take up the time to prepare for a rocket launch. Updated. Here are some clarifications to limit scope. I am curious how long it takes to prep an emergency launch from a rocketry perspective. Assume there was an urgent need to deliver a small, lightweight package with something vital such as medicine or a replacement circuit board that is available. Assume we can use an existing rocket. Assume the rocket is not sitting ready on a launch pad. Assume travel to the ISS is within the capabilities of the rocket. A brand new rocket to be launched will have to be assembled, and that's a long process, though I do not know how long. But if it's for an emergency, you may find ready rockets. After the Columbia disaster, space shuttle missions all had a contingency mission in case they found issues with the orbiter before re-entry. The planning and training processes for a rescue flight would allow NASA to launch the mission within a period of 40 days of its being called up. During that time the damaged or disabled shuttle's crew would have to take refuge on the International Space Station. You even had two shuttles on pad at the same time for a Hubble servicing mission, as the crew wouldn't be able to reach the space station for a safe haven, and would need to be rescued before the three weeks of consumables on board were exhausted. The rescue mission would have been launched only three days after call-up. Space shuttles Atlantis and Endeavour on launch pads. That said the space shuttle isn't operating anymore, and until SpaceX Crew Dragon or Boeing Starliner are operational probably sometime soon, the Russian Soyuz is the only option to send people, and it seems to launch a new crew to the ISS roughly every six months if there are no emergencies. For the last flight of the space shuttle, there was no contingency mission prepared, but instead the mission had only four astronauts, and in the case that Atlantis couldn't make the re-entry, the astronauts would stay on board the ISS and come back to Earth in Soyuz capsules over the following year. If your emergency doesn't require people to go to the ISS to help, but specific, unplanned cargo is still needed, a spacecraft cargo or not goes to the ISS every month or so, so if your emergency can wait between a week and a bit more than a month so to account for weather delays, mounting time of the payload and orbit maneuvers, you can just sneak it in one of those resupply missions, or replace some less vital cargo. If your emergency can't wait at all, and you absolutely need to send something to the ISS on short notice, and there are no upcoming resupply missions, you may be able to hijack another vehicle with sufficient authority. For March alone there are 10 planned rocket launches from the US, ESA or Roscosmos, so you could probably get emergency cargo to the ISS in around a bit more than a week this is a guess, assuming the orbital maneuvers take around 3 days, and mounting the payload and waiting for a launch window take a few days too. Note that if you don't have a proper cargo spacecraft to put the cargo into, maneuvering up to the ISS might prove to be difficult, and the cargo will not be able to mate with the ISS, so astronauts may have to perform an EVA to secure the cargo outside. 